Alright, welcome back to Pac Manufactured, a series all about Pac Man clones. In this episode, we're taking a look at Pac Man, developed by Neve and released for Flash enabled internet browsers in 2002. Now, for a lot of people, I feel like this might be the, one of the most played Pac Man clones ever. Um, I, this is big time office time waster. Um, I remember playing this in secondary school. Um, and yeah, just sneaking a go on it whenever you could. Uh, like I say, big time waster. Um, so yeah, this 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 is quite an iconic Pac-Man clone. I feel, and I feel like a lot of people of my age have definitely played this. And I feel like certain people may have played this more than actual Pac-Man, to be honest with you, um, because it's a pretty accurate take on it. It's got to be said. Um, yeah, you can see the whole map at once. Um, you've got obviously the the corridors at the side there, which means that you can go off to the sides and transport over the other side. Power pills are all intact. You know the the actual mechanics are all very much traditional Pac-Man based on the original arcade game. Graphics are all very similar. The the things that really give it away are mainly just sort of the font choices, and there's a little there's a little interstitial sort of like jingle in between rounds that plays, and none of the cutscenes are featured in this version as well. Um, but other than that, like it, it's very difficult to sort of tell it apart from you know the real deal. It's it's mainly just sort of like you know the hard and the font choices that kind of give it away. Um, but yeah. I, I, I would guarantee that this is one of the most played Pac-Man co clones of all time, and for good reason because it's great. Like it's it's a, it's a really really accurate take on it, and I feel like it's just as playable as the actual game it's based on. Um, there's a couple of things that betray it, but not to the point where it, it makes it broken or unplayable. Um, the enemy AI is definitely not the same as the arcade game. They're not as smart. They don't have the same characteristics as their arcade equivalent. They don't behave the same way, basically. So that will obviously mix things up a little bit. And for certain people, like if you're very familiar with Pac-Man, I feel like you'll probably like this because you know it's a, there's a di there's a different set of enemy mechanics to, to muck around with and they're not as predictable as the arcade ghosts are. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the main thing to be honest with you. Um, the only other thing I can really think of is the um, the power time. Like, I feel like it never decreases in t the amount of time when you use a power pill over the stages. Or, or it doesn't decrease noticeably. If you if you know anything about Pac-Man, you'll know that using a power pill means that you can eat the ghosts. And as the stages go onward, um, the amount of time you can eat the ghosts um, becomes smaller and smaller, making obviously more of a challenge. Whereas I don't think it ever changed whilst I was playing this. I feel like it was the same length the entire time I was playing. So generally an easier game as well. I, I racked up a much bigger score just through casual play than I would ever in a, in a normal casual go of the actual arcade Pac-Man. But yeah, good stuff all round. Um, it is a very good take on the original game. Um, I think it had a lot of people fooled. I think a lot of people felt like this was an official port of the game for a long time. And like I say, I, I've definitely played this on many a PC when I should be doing something else in my time, and I'm sure many other people have as well. Um, but yeah, it's a classic. It is um, just as iconic as Pac-Man himself, this clone. I think so many people have played this, and um, for good reason, because it's a really accurate take on the, on the game, uh, with maybe some minor differences between the, the AI and the actual power-up time when you uh, get a power pellet. But yeah, good stuff. Iconic. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I can guarantee that most of my audience has probably played this version at some point, and for good reason. It's great.